In this week's Focus on Your Health, Teresa Snow explains how to stay safe in the sun. Focus on Your Health is sponsored by MU Healthcare. More than 32,000 athletes come to Columbia to take part in the Show Me State Games. But beating the heat starts at home, hours before the competition. Back each other up, play hard, okay? At the ballpark, relief from the sun is hard to find. There's no shade unless you're in the dugout, but even those are covered in metal, so the boys just kind of bake inside of them. And while fans can make their own shelter, the players sweat it out. It's hot, drink lots when you come in. Some of them a little hotter than others. Probably catcher, definitely, because you have all the gear on. Christopher Sampson is an emergency physician with University of Missouri Healthcare and says heat exhaustion is a real concern for young athletes. Keep an eye on them and make sure if they look like they are not acting appropriately or they look like they're excessively tired or having difficulty walking, then you should probably get them into a cooler environment and have them assessed by a medical professional. Those sweaty shirts are actually a good sign though. Dr. Sampson says a lack of sweat during exercise is a red flag. If you reach a point where you've passed out, um, you're no longer sweating and your skin is very dry, uh, then that is a, a definitely a medical emergency. The best defense against heat-related illness is to start drinking water before you even go outside. We start telling our boys, you know, the day of the game that morning, you're drinking water today, we're not having soda today, just to prepare and kind of pre-hydrate for the game at night. Make sure you take plenty of breaks for water or to use an ice pack. Whatever it takes to stay cool during competition. Joining me now is Dr. Christopher Sampson. He's an emergency medicine physician with MU Healthcare. When folks are exercising outside, maybe at the Show Me Games, how do they know when it's time uh, to get emergency help? What should they do first? The first thing you should probably do is find a cool environment. Sometimes that's just getting out of the sun into the shade. Uh, then, but if you can get into a building or a car that has air conditioning, that's probably even better. Who should be most concerned? I know the athletes are exerting themselves, but I've been a parent at some of these games and it gets pretty hot. Sure, the spectators can even be get overcome by the heat. Um, people who are older lack sometimes the ability to regulate their temperature as well as they would if they were younger. Also, sometimes people are on medications mm -hmm. that can affect their ability to sweat or make them urinate more frequently, which can cause them to get dehydrated. So everybody has to pre-hydrate before the Show Me Games, athlete or not? Yes, exactly. Everyone should be drinking water before they even head out. How much? Uh, normally at least a couple glasses. And the, the big thing is you don't want to feel thirsty because if you're feeling thirsty, you're probably far behind in your fluid needs. We hope they don't end up seeing you at the emergency room. No, hopefully not. Thank you very much. And with Focus on Your Health, I'm Teresa Snow. Focus on Your Health has been sponsored by MU Healthcare.